you drive by a park here in the valley, you look over and see hundreds of men and women playing the sport of rugby. Yeah, not for the faint at heart, right? Uh, recently, Scottsdale hosted the Arizona Rugby Festival, attracting players and partiers from all over the country. Our Tim Ring has more. From a distance, it looks like another Scottsdale Saturday in the park. But listen closely, Set. and you can hear and see the sport of rugby has come to the valley. Am I going to get tackled in the middle of this? Jack Webb is part of a team known as the Highwaymen. With over 100 members, the Highwaymen gather a few times a year to play, pop, pitch, and puke all in a day's work. We have members from 11 different states across the country and we travel to uh, rugby tournaments three to four times a year and, and uh, have a little reunion, play a little rugby and, and have a lot of fun in a new city. I keep up pretty well. Lloyd Blue Lindley has been playing rugby since the early 70s, a prime example of a bone crushing sport that welcomes all shapes, sizes, ages and faces. Everybody is high quality. I mean, everybody's played, they know the game. Uh, they all, they get selected by their uh, area reps. And so they're selected because of the capability, not just their uh, athleticism and their ability to play the game, but also their social side. Ah, yes, the social side. To be a member of the Highwaymen is a case study in rugby tradition. You better be good enough on the pitch and fun enough off it. What I like about rugby is that you can't win a tournament just winning the athletic side. You gotta win the social side too. I love that. I mean, that I have friends all over the world because of that. And I love that. Saturday in the park. Yeah. Enjoying life, liberty, and libations. We're not that drunk! We're not that drunk! Tim Ray for Arizona's family.